Let's take you to another story here where a unique multi-million dollar industry, that's crab fishing, is both a tradition and a key part of the local economy in the coastal state of Maryland. Take a look. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, and Billy Crook and his crew have already started their work day. These crab fishermen begin collecting their traps before sunrise six days a week. We have eight hours that we're allowed to work, and it starts a half hour before the sun comes up. So if you're not out here, then you're, you know, losing. Billy has been in the industry for 43 years. Each day, his team collects 450 crab pots from the Chesapeake Bay in search of the Maryland blue crab. I'm dumping the bait out of the trap so we can put new in. And this is where the crabs come in. They come in through this funnel here, and they go to the bait that attracted them, and they get stuck in there. And then they'll go to the upstairs, and then they're trapped till we come and open the trap up and dump them out. Then they go into the uh, calling box where we can sort them for males, females. The male crabs are more valuable, cooked and served whole, but the crew still keeps the females, whose meat they can sell for crab cakes or crab soup. Maryland's fishermen bring in roughly 24 million pounds of blue crabs per year. The Chesapeake Bay alone accounts for more than 50 percent of the total harvest in the U.S. Right now, 15 to 20 bushels is a good catch, but the number varies throughout the season, which runs from April to December. Crabs are a little bit like mosquitoes. They kind of can swarm. Every once in a while, they just seem like they come from everywhere, and you can catch loads of them. These loads are delivered by the bushel to local restaurants like Cantler's Riverside Inn. The Annapolis hotspot buys three to 4,000 crabs daily, which are sorted, steamed, and seasoned with the traditional Old Bay spice. 